Our professional loggers and truck drivers are glad you are here. Their families look for them to return safely home each evening. It's a wish every family has, including yours. Let's make it come true for everybody. People have different driving skills and different safety attitudes. They are as varied as the vehicles they drive and the places they visit. Every one of these vehicles was driven by a different person. You are on the highway every day meeting total strangers, and yes, even if the vehicles look the same, you have a different person behind the wheel. What does this mean for you? You will have to cope with the actions of other drivers and drive defensively to avoid a crash. First, you will need to focus. This means eliminating any distractions while you drive. You can only control what you do. Get steady and ready for those other drivers. Did you know that 16% of all fatal crashes involve distracted drivers and over 20% of injury crashes were caused by distracted drivers? Now you are ready. Let's check what's around you and hear from professional truck drivers who make it their job to be safe. They want to share what they know. Every year, roughly 5,000 people die in crashes involving big trucks. More than 8 out of 10 will be people driving or riding in cars, on motorcycles, bicycles, or on foot near a big rig. In almost 70% of the cases, the truck driver will not be at fault. Big trucks carry nearly everything we wear, eat, or use every day. Without them, commerce would come to a screeching halt. Jobs would be lost and the country would suffer. Trucks are a vital part of life. Truck drivers log millions of miles every year, most of them safely. That's because most truck drivers are professionals with many hours of training and time behind the wheel. On the other hand, the rest of us have very little training compared to a professional trucker, especially when it comes to highway driving. High up in a big rig, large windows and windshields give drivers a spectacular view. A truck driver is constantly looking at traffic conditions, approaching hazards, gauges, mirrors, and yes, these professional drivers are looking at you. More often than not, it is the trucker who has to spot and avoid an accident. Big rigs can be as much as 80 feet long and weigh 80,000 pounds fully loaded. At normal highway speeds, stopping one can take nearly the length of a football field. Add in bad weather and the stopping distances increase to a field and a half and maybe more. That's why drivers of passenger vehicles have to use extra special care when driving near and around a large truck. You would not dare stop in the path of an approaching train, but pulling out in front of a large truck can have the same deadly consequences. Large objects appear to move slower than reality. If you pull into the path of danger, the truck driver may not be able to stop in time. You might also be fooled by a truck's actual speed as you merge into highway traffic. The open space you choose to merge into may be rapidly disappearing in front of a truck. The same thing happens when you pass a truck and then slow suddenly to turn. Always remember, a truck can't stop in the same short distance as a passenger vehicle. A commercial truck and trailer are required to have reflectors, lights, and tape to make them highly visible at night. In the past, a trailer without tape would be like most other non-reflective objects in the dark. With tape applied, you will know it is a truck trailer you are approaching. Trucks must make wide and slow turns as they enter from side roads. If you see reflective tape in or near your travel path, 
you should slow immediately and prepare to stop if necessary. Despite having a good view high up in the cab, a truck driver's world is full of blind spots. Truck safety experts have come to call them no zones. The no zones are on the left front side, on the right front side, directly in front for 10 to 20 feet, and at the rear for 150 to 200 feet. In a no zone, a truck driver can't see you, and that's a big problem for you both. A trucker's mirrors help a lot, but at times passenger vehicles still disappear from a trucker's view. When that happens, the vehicle has entered a no zone. Remember this rule of thumb. If you can't see the truck driver's face in the side mirror, it's a good bet he can't see you. Sharing the roads with big trucks means you are going to end up in a no zone from time to time, but you can do a few things to eliminate the possibility of a problem. First, as you approach the truck from behind, make sure of your speed and that the truck is not slowing or stopped. Make sure you watch for turn signals or brake lights that let you know what the driver intends to do next. If you see a turn signal, don't try to speed ahead to avoid riding behind the truck. You are just asking for trouble. When you pass a large truck, you will pass through a no zone. The best technique for passing a large truck is to do it quickly and smoothly. Don't hang out in the no zone. Get through it fast without exceeding the speed limit. The longer you stay in the trucker's blind spots, the more you expose yourself to the dangers of a potential crash. If a truck driver can't see you in his blind spots, he might attempt to change lanes, not realizing you are there. After you pass, be sure you've allowed enough space before pulling into the trucker's lane. Before you pull in, be sure you can see the headlights of the truck in your rear view mirror. Don't pull in short and don't slow down after you pull in. Keep a safety cushion between you and the truck. These rules hold true whether passing on the left or right side. When in front of a truck, remember the driver is looking over a huge hood that creates a blind spot in front of the truck. If you are in it, he can't see you, and even if he knows you are there, he might not be able to slow or swerve in time to avoid a crash. If you are able to maintain a good constant speed, it will help that truck driver behind you maintain that safety cushion and keep you in clear view. Remember, the crash you prevent could be your own. When a large truck wants to pass you, you will end up in a no zone again. When that happens, maintain your speed and be absolutely sure you don't speed up. See how this car disappears in the trucker's mirror as it passes alongside. Even though the truck driver can see you as he approaches, he will lose you in the no zone. If you speed up, the truck driver may think he has passed you and begin to move back over into your lane while you are still beside the truck. When following a big truck, allow plenty of room here too. Remember that rule about being able to see the driver's face in the truck's side mirrors? If you can't see him, he can't see you. This is very important on rural two-lane roads where most fatal crashes involving trucks happen. Out here, you can't safely slip over to the left to be sure a truck driver sees you, something you might be able to do on a multi-lane highway or interstate. Always stay back sufficiently to make sure you can stop in time and avoid hitting any vehicle in front of you. You are in 100% control of the space ahead of you. Practice the three-second rule. Pick out a roadside object next to the vehicle ahead of you. As the object nears you, if you pass it before three seconds, you are following too close. In bad weather, add another second and make it four. Because big trucks are so long, they must make extremely wide right turns at intersections to avoid their rear wheels running off the road. When making these wide turns, they often begin to make these turns from the center of the roadway, leaving as much as a full lane to their right. Don't try to squeeze into this lane to get ahead of the truck. You will just get squeezed into a collision. As in all cases when traveling near a big rig, give it a wide berth. Since 1979, accidents involving big rigs have decreased. Still, one fatality or injury is one too many. The fact is, most crashes can be avoided. Pay attention to big rigs when you share the road with them. Drive defensively and give them the respect they deserve by giving them the room they need to operate. Remember, when in the company of trucks, be seen, be alive.